I'm an attorney, not a security researcher, but I just happened to discover a glitch or an exploit that would allow the Apple Watch to be taken off of your wrist, even though you have it passcode enabled and used by somebody else for purposes of accessing your text messages, uh, using Apple Pay, or doing any number of other things on your Apple Watch that usually would need a passcode. So it seems to me to be a relatively serious problem um, because the Apple Watch security depends upon the fact that the heart rate sensor will normally detect when the watch has been removed from your wrist. And using this glitch or exploit that I happened to discover, uh, that doesn't happen. Even though there's a total loss in skin contact, the watch remains unlocked and can be put on somebody else's wrist or even uh, used for Apple Pay or for any number of different things. And this is all without, um, you know, needing the passcode for the device. So um, I think there needs to be some more testing done on this. And I'm not sure uh, exactly what all of the possible ramifications of this are. So I'm leaving some of that for others to test and others to see how it works out for them. But I'm putting this out there because I do think it's significant and I would like to demonstrate it for you first and then I'll kind of break it down a little bit. The exploit begins with an Apple Watch that has been unlocked already and has been placed on somebody's wrist, as it is when most people wear their watch around. So first let me just show you that the um, ray, the, the wrist detection is on and you can tell that because I just lifted it up and off my wrist and then it locked. So. With that being the case that the wrist detection is on, let me return to the watch and just show you the simple sequence that you do to remove the watch from your wrist without it being detected. You let just press heart rate, let it settle into the rhythm of the heart rate, and then you lift it up off your watch. Now notice like, okay, I'm kind of touching the bottom of the sensor to some extent, but it doesn't depend on that. Um, you can see that there's absolutely no contact. Right now, um, this is not unlocked. I can get to any function I need to. Um, now I could be a third party putting the, the watch on instead of being the same person. And, you know, it's still got all the same functionality um, to get to whatever you want, you know, like um, Apple Pay, Messages, um, and the other functions. So uh, this can be done again, for instance, like I could go right now, and if I wanted to remove this again without locking, all I would do is once again return to the same thing, let it measure, yeah, my heart rate's a little high. Um, lift it up off. I could transfer to a third person now. Um, this is another uh, person who now could be getting this and using it for Apple Pay. All right, you know, um, put it back on again. It's still not locking, you know, since it, it, it was off my wrist, now it's back on. I would think it should lock at this point, you know. Um, but it's just not. And so that is the issue in a nutshell. But let me go ahead and show you how this works on the Apple Watch 1 as well. Okay, now I'm doing a demonstration of my original Apple Watch, the one that first came out that I got on launch day. And so uh, once again, I'm going to show you that risk detection is working because it will have just locked. So you can see that it locked when I did that. Um, let me go ahead and unlock it again using this temporary passcode I set up. All right, same thing. Go to heart rate. Again, that can be done through the app uh, launcher or through the dock, it doesn't matter. Just let it measure, but you don't take it off until, uh, at least in my testing, you don't take it off until it actually has gotten a reading and then it gets into this little rhythm and something about being in that rhythm uh, seems to fail to detect whether or not you're losing skin contact. The Apple Watch 1 really takes a lot longer to 
do these heart rate readings. Okay. All right. You'll notice, took it right off. Doesn't detect anything. It's uh, completely unlocked. I can go to my messages. I can do Apple Pay. Um, well, you know, this is a Walgreens card, but you can still not, I mean, you shouldn't be able to do any of this while it's not having skin contact. Put it back on. This could very well be a third party now wearing the watch, not the original person, a robber, a criminal, a thief. Um, I'd like to make clear that I'm a huge Apple fan. I love Apple products. Um, I am not saying that this exploit renders the Apple Watch to be completely unsafe or anything like that, but it does seem to me to be a glitch. And the normal behavior of the watch, it, it w should be that when it's taken off the wrist, it will lock as it normally does. And then you can certainly have your watch be unlocked and off your wrist, but you should have to enter your passcode to do that. So the problem here seems to be that you can take the watch right off the wrist and it doesn't lock. And in fact, um, even after, uh, being without skin contact for several seconds or a, a, quite a while, it still doesn't lock. You can transfer it to another person's hand. It still doesn't lock. They can use it for Apple Pay or whatever they want. Now there is an important caveat. Um, it does seem that uh, sometimes this doesn't work on the first time you try it. And it seems that maybe it works only after the watch has been recently unlocked. And I don't know the exact time parameter for how long, um, but it does seem that um, if your watch has been unlocked within some amount of time, that's when this works. And I don't know how long that is, but I still don't think that's normal behavior because once it's been removed from your wrist, it really should lock regardless of whether you had just unlocked it, it doesn't matter. It should lock when it's taken off your wrist, shouldn't it? So, um, so that's the thing that I don't know that I would like um, you guys to look into. And let me know what you think about this.